finally here. Corruption. The last entry in the Metroid Prime series. For now. Well, Metroid Prime Trilogy. Eh? Original Metroid Prime Trilogy? Well. Well, eventually it'll be a quadrilogy. Yeah. Well, one yeah. of these days. One of these days. Retro Stew. N Nintendo presents a Retro Studios game they actually decided to release. Metroid Prime 3! Corruption. There's a lot of threes going around. Oh, it's corrupted data. I get yeah. it. Yeah, uh huh? I get it. Would you believe that corruption is one of the themes of this game? Metroid Prime 3 Corruption! That looks great. We have a whole corrupted planet to go to. You, you probably corrupted your Wii data in order to get this footage. It's great. So before Dread came out, this was my favorite Metroid game. I should hope every Metroid game after this gets better. You would think. You would hope. You would imagine. So we're gonna do as much as we can in this game. It doesn't matter if you're using the original Wii version like I'm using or the trilogy version. There are still some things in this game that we can never, ever, ever, ever be able to access. Because uh, this game requires Wii Connect 24. And, uh, well, Wii Connect 24 hasn't worked in at least over a decade. <sighs> Saying that out loud hurts my mind. Unless if we, like, hack our Wiis and use ReConnect 24, it's, it's just not happening. So, uh, that's why when you talk about porting Metroid Prime 3, it's not that easy. So we'll be doing what we can, just going through the game as, as normal, what we can already do on normal mode. And uh, we've already got some secrets I'm going to show off right off the bat. The first, ship log. Autopilot navigation initiated, destination coordinates, uh, wherever that is. Planet Norian, Kalandor region. Life support status, cryogenic systems, stable. Heart rate, good. Blood... Corruption! There's a problem. Uh, uh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh geez! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, ah! And so Samus blue screened. You know, I don't think that's the case. Somebody messing around with Phazon again. Uh. Oh hi! Dark Samus is back! That didn't take long! Ah. Cryostasis shutdown complete. That was a, just a bad dream right there. Activating. Dark Samus can't be back. I flipped her off at the end of my last adventure. There's no way. All systems function. Well, uh, alright. Oh good, we get a, a motion control tutorial right, at, right off the get-go. The whole game works on motion controls now. Before we get started, let's go ahead and tap this. This is our radio, and we've got these eight, eight little uh, signals here. There's uh, five secret codes and five secret messages I'm going to play for you now. So the first one is eight, three, five, four. You'd find these in the game normally, but... Yep, just fine. It is. I mean, until you passed them off because you couldn't be bothered. Yeah, I mean, well, now you work on Pikmin. Ooh, Pikmin, ooh. We will do that. See ya! Bye! Eat. There are some devs that have some hidden messages for the player that we can access here. So four, six, one, seven. Hi, Yoshio. God, yes, I have. No, really? You, you, you don't know? Do, no, no, wait, 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 no! <laughs> Omoroi, I think it's like, like uh, shortening of Omoshiroi, so it's fun. Metroid, Omoroido. Metroid fun. Tanashi, ne? Kensuke Tanabe! He's a, good, he's a good old egg. What's up, man? Well, about that. Citation needed, actually. Yeah, it's, it's still true to this day, I mean. 
<laughs> That's so sad. I can't wait for you to release this first episode and Metroid Prime 4 gets announced. Please. Or re-announced, I should say. Give me a release date. Give me anything. All you got is a logo. You guys can pawn it up to Mercury Steam. They're doing fine without you, so... Alright, next one is a 3648. Huh? Thank you for putting in the uh, associated. Uh, <laughs> Samus enjoying the music. Sick riffs, man. <laughs> That's Kenji Yamamoto, the composer. Makes sense. Oh, this is great. I miss secrets like this. I know you can find these in the game, but it's just so nice to see. I figure I just have them here. First and foremost, get that out of the way. It's, it's so nice. It is. And you can definitely tell they were meant for later, because mm -hmm. they're asking you, Oh, how are you enjoying Metroid Prime? Well, I mean, I've been enjoying it for the past 10-15 uh, years, thank you very much. Thank you! Correct. I, I took a few liberties on some of these translations, but most of these are from the Metroid Wiki. Will do. All right, I've got one more, and uh, this one might be the most important and most poignant one. Three, I have a feeling I know seven, who it is. Five, one. Yep. Satoru Iwata. です。忙しくて大変な時にどんどんやつれていくと人は同情してくれるんですが、私は忙しいと太る方なんで、太れば太るほどなんか何も感じてないんじゃないかってご解されてるみたいで非常に不本意です。<笑> <laughs> so, you know, you, you... You, you, and during stressful times in the office, that's when you like lose a lot of weight because you're not eating. But because he doesn't lose weight, he actually gains weight. They think, oh, he's just, just, just you know, sliding on by then. No, he takes it seriously. He took it seriously more than anybody else, I'm sure. Stress comes in different forms, friends. So, the Galactic Federation called us for something. Imagine that. They need us to bail them out again, probably? Yeah, it's, it's, it's looking bad. They're getting their asses kicked by the space pirates, and they need our help. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop in our radio, and uh, we'll give them our signal. Oh, perfect. Which is two, eight, five, uh, one. That is incorrect. Whoop! Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're I'm right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm it sorry. Is, you're right. It uh, is two, seven, five, one. Transmission. <laughs> An imposter! Open fire! <laughs> wait, no, 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 wait! I misclicked! I misclicked! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh, gotta get those gimmicks. So far, it's not too bad. Alright, here we go. We gotta go ahead and use this thruster here. Tap the button. Grab the handle. Push it up. And away we go! Oh, the entire game's like this, isn't it? Not the entire game, but... Just the ship sections. See, yeah. see, this is what I call, um... Late, early Wii games. Where the motion control was very, very heavy, but it worked. Because they had their best initial ideas for how motion control works. So you had games like, you know, Mario Galaxy. You had where you wear smooth moves. Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Where it was all very heavily based on motion controls, but it was designed around that and it kind of worked. Then they went into Motion Plus and really leaned more on the motion controls. And it got worse and worse and, well, yeah. It eventually evolved into the Switch Joy-Cons because the Wii U relied on the gamepad and the Wiimote which still had its growing pains. Yeah, looking great there, Samus. Gotta love power suit games. Please calibrate your weapon by shooting these Nope, here it is. I was waiting for it. All right, well, before then, we gotta do some scanning. Uh, the way log journals work here is a little different. It, again, we can't really unlock everything because there's some things we can't unlock because we need friend vouchers and we need to communicate with other Wii consoles. We can't do that. So we get medals instead from scanning things. 
Oh! We use the we use the medals to unlock things in that extras gallery that we saw. Calibration complete. So we're just gonna scan what we can, what I think adds towards the logbook, pretty sure. Would you believe there's not a lot of guides on this game? What? I had a lot I had a no problem getting a guide for Metroid Prime 1 and Metroid Prime 2, but Metroid Prime 3? Surprisingly sparse. Is it because this is more linear? I guess? Maybe people didn't like this as much. I don't see why. All right, Maybe guys. I will. You see that uh, red little mark we got there? That's a metal. There's huh. blue metals, red metals, yellow metals, and green metals. Green metals are the friend of voucher metals, and we can't unlock things unless we have those as well. So, we can only do so much here. We're gonna try for 100%? Yeah, so uh, that's what I mean. The log node doesn't actually count for 100%. Oh. O only the collectibles do. Hmm. Okay. But if you want to get, you know, some bonus stuff, then you want to just use the logbook. And, you know, hey, while we're here, might as well just... Yeah, might as well. Might, might as well. I'm very curious about hearing that there's not a lot of guides, because this would become how some people played Metroid, the Metroid Prime Trilogy when the trilogy version of the game came out. See, I used a site called strategywiki.org for my Metroid Prime 1 and 2 Let's Plays, going off of those guys. It's, it's pretty, uh... It's, uh, very, uh... in-depth. And, uh, the, it flows very well, too. They didn't have one for three, or it was incomplete. So, uh, I'm hmm. doing this kind of, kind of riding solo, using a text, uh, a, uh, a text, uh, guide from, like, what, ten years ago, I think? Jesus. I tried using a video walkthrough, but, uh, he was scanning everything that didn't need to be scanned. Well, I'm just thinking, uh, they've had plenty of time to finish it. <laughs> I mean, it's not like, oh, I'm going to wait till another Metroid game comes out, and then I'll finish the guide. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> just like, oh, well. It might, it might just be the linearity of it all. That's one thing I did hear when Prime 3 came out is there's not nearly as much backtracking. I know there is backtracking in this game, but not nearly as much as 1 and 2. So, it's kind of more like Metroid Prime Hunters. And that there's multiple uh, areas to go to. And a, lo a lot of them are kind of linear. So I think that's I think that's what they mean by that. So, yeah, we we increase the scope by having a lot more plans to go to, but as a result, still pretty straightforward. The environments aren't as connected as they were in say two. Which is not a bad oh, thing, yeah, by the way. It's just it's, different. It's just different. We we have a different tone here as well. You know, I, I like the fact that we're walking into the the uh, Galactic Federation. We're interacting with them in a much more meaningful way instead of them just barking orders at me and yelling at me when I tell them that their Metroid research thing is wrong. I swear, if I walk into a whole platoon of these guys and I just start to hear barking, <laughs> no, don't like it. Don't like it. Gonna have to clean up after you boys. All right, so we gotta get our access code while we're on here. Our, our visitors pass, I guess. Touch. <laughs> All right, Samus Aran. Access code one three five seven six. Gotcha. Is that different every playthrough? No. Okay. Oh yeah. One, that, that's some we. Three, five, seven, seven six. six. There we go. So compared to some other motion control games you've played, how's the feel? Okay. Might be because I'm using a Wii Motion Plus. Sometimes the you know I try to push, but it's going, going a bit slower, you know. Mm -hmm. But in terms of aiming, that's fine, no issues. That's the one thing that the Wii did extremely well, and I should freaking hope so, is aiming and shooting. Mm -hmm. Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition was fantastic. Metroid Prime 3, uh, from what I've seen, is pretty faithful to aiming and shooting. You know, you'll be able to shoot the guy if you aim at him. I think that's the issue that Nintendo had with Metroid. They didn't know what people wanted from it. They thought it was like, yeah, the shooting, you can aim and shoot, touch the thing on the DS to shoot your enemies. It's like, well, okay, what about the world? It, the world? You want something about the world? Yeah, dude, what about the world? Uh, 
Ken's get, Ken's get. Okay, Ken's get. Get over here. What's about the world? Give it back to the Americans. No, not the Americans. Give it to the Spaniards. Red Christine's from Spain. I mean, as far as we know, Retro is still working on Metroid Prime 4. Yeah. We've got no official... No official mention saying that it was canned. But I don't think it was. It was nearly canned. And that's when Nintendo gave it back to Retro. So how bad was the one that the, that the, the one that from oh, Bandai Namco did? Oh, I can only imagine. How bad can it be? I can only imagine. These are our lore terminals. Oh, cool. So this is the, about the Olympus-class battleship. The Olympus-class battleship is the first Federation capital. Oh, it's about the ship we're on. Blah, 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 blah. There's a big old supercomputer on it. That you, that's, that's a biogenic supercomputer. It's kind of like a cross between Adam and Mother Brain almost. I was just about to say, we called it Mother Brain. So are those terminals all over the game? Yeah. Okay. So if you want lore, look for the terminals. Aren't you Samus Aaron? It's an honor to meet you. Hey, I like that. I'm getting some fucking respect around here. What's up, fanboy? Never got that in Other M, that's for damn sure. Well, this was before Other M, friend. I, I know, and I'm, I'm I'm loving just how casual things are. Like, I'm not I'm not subservient to them, and just like, huh, they, they got me for a job. Okay, I better go report then. They don't mind me shooting my build- my- my, uh, weapon inside the building, that's good. Okay, we'll go this way. We need you to use your power bomb in an enclosed location and then take it from you. Oh! <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry! Aren't you oh, you blasted my ear off. It's okay, I only needed to hear from the right. Why is the talk and shoot button the same? <laughs> I shoot to talk. <laughs> Hi! Alright, go through here, but... Admiral Dan has ordered me to remind you that suit maintenance and data backup should be done before the meeting. Go save your game, a Samus. At the other side of the walkway. They, so. they force you to learn about save rooms, which is nice. Also kind of opens up the, the ship a little bit. We'll be coming through that door later on. It's good to get this area situated. Gotta scan this, of course. Gotta scan the save station. Yeah, I want to see how fast this is compared to the other primes. Done. Oh wait. Stupid fast, by comparison. Because we're on new hardware, baby. Oh, no yeah. longer the GameCube. We're all on the raw physical power of the Wii processor. All oh. the raw physical power of a console with a GameCube in it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Metroid Prime 3 was going to be for GameCube. That's amazing. Then they shifted it to the Wii. So how much did they have to rework? They probably had a majority of this finished, and then you just had to fine-tune motion controls. Like, I, I don't even think that much was for developed for the GameCube. I mean, it was probably announced for the GameCube. And then the Wii came out, so now we're just going to take... Push it, it back a little bit. Push it over there. You know, I'm actually glad they didn't pull a Twilight Princess. Do both. Do both. Or, you know, a Breath of the Wild. Do both. Here's one thing I do like about this game. Other bounty hunters. Oh, thank God. I like when we expand the world of Metroid. People to kill later. Yeah. Uh, what? Huh? Dark Samus! Andrada, enough. <laughs> Looks like everyone's here now. Before I begin the briefing, let me introduce 242. Flagship's Aurora. I know a 343, not a 242. An organic it's a predecessor unit. Fascinating. I'm getting massive Halo vibes from this game, though. Core no, they borrow some homework from each other. Not a bad thing, though. I mean, we had Halo 3 around this time. We had Metroid Prime 3 around this time. Good time to be a power suit lover. Well, I'm also thinking, like, how much more can you expand on what you can do in space? So, this is fine right here. Yeah. Futuristic holograms? Go for it. You see, seven days ago, that's different, though. That won't happen until, like, Halo 6 or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Or infinite. Unit 242 was the first day... So, the uh, Galactic Federation's bionic supercomputers are infected with a virus, but we have a vaccine for the virus. It's a literal virus, I guess. Oh. It's a virus from the space pirates. That's bad. That's very bad. The GFS Valhalla went missing while on a training mission in the Clar Nebula. The ship's logs revealed that, that they don't were look like no space pirate vessel I've ever seen. Nope. What is the 
logic in disrupting a Federation training mission. They're pirates. How they I was just about to say, yeah, it's, it's like, oh, it's the Federation? Fuck them. <laughs> Open fire! It's a shame you weren't. <laughs> the pirates boarded the Valhalla and gained access to the ship's Aurora. I'd like to think that the reason we can understand what these bounty hunters are saying is because of Samus's translation. Yeah, I think that's how it works. I mean, the Federation probably just knows all of these languages by heart, but here, not Samus. <laughs> here in the vast frontier of space, we speak English! I thought you were about to add a boy to the end of it and just be like, Ooh. I mean, Gandreda's here, and you know, <laughs> Samus as well. I mean, I'm Alright, get rid of the virus, bring it back online, gotcha. Because space pirates are attacking and they're kicking their ass right now. We'd also like you to investigate the pirates' activity in the area. We need to know what they're up to. Right. Fight back, save our ass, find out what the pirates are doing. And now they're attacking. Because the fact that the pirates are attacking, and the fact that I dreamt about Dark Samus waking up... That's probably not a quinky dink. It probably... It, you know, actually, I think it is. I think it's just an absolute coincidence. Oh boy. Get down to the planet and aid the ground troops. Stop those pirates from disabling the defense system. Right. Go. They're taking their assault planet side now. We gotta get off of this ship that they're also attacking. Ooh. And then make our way down to the planet and take care of them. So let's go. Wow, I wasn't talked down to. Holy crap. We got a, a knowing nod. I didn't have to talk about how much I loved my daddy, Captain. I would have loved it. He's just like, hey, what's up, girl? <laughs> Samus? I missed you, Samus. <laughs> Good to see you, Captain. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> clang, clang. My dog. My dog. <laughs> get to your ship. We need you down on the planet. You got it, man. All right, let's get back to our ship. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's death. Space pirates aren't fucking around. Excuse me, uh, Captain. Could I get a scan real quick? He's scanning you, my dog. Good Admiral Dane. Sir, yes, sir. What are you still doing here, Samus? We need it on the planet. Right. I better get to my ship. Yeah, on the planet. On the planet. Got All the right, off we go. We need to. We need to get some real muscle into this, you know. I really hope a beam like that doesn't show up. Ah! Oh, okay. Yep, they're attacking. They're All attacking. Right. That's great. So we got. Uh, What's up, guys? <laughs> pirate militia. And we had pirate militia. They there gone go. now. Yeah, I said they're expendable troops. Well, if you right. send enough expendable troops at something, that it will eventually overtake it. Oh! Gotta get that thing. That does not look like any space pirate boarding pod. Boarding pod? They don't have those. What is with these guys? They look glowy. They look very glow, glowy and bl Oh no. Oh dear. It had more phase on. You can oh, save the GF troopers in this part. Oh, can they actually die in this opening? Well, yeah. Ooh. All you get is like uh, some special friend uh, medals and all that. Okay. Probably we'll save as many as we can, though. Ow, ow, ow. Hold, hold on. Cheese. It's a crawl tank. And now it's a dead tank. It's a tank that crawls. You okay, buddy? You got it, man. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Get down to your ship. Go! See, I like it. Everybody here knows how cool I am, saying, Ah, it's Samus! She'd be better if she went to her ship and saved us! No one, no, no one's talking down to me. No one's giving me orders. And he's like, now, don't use your missiles. Don't use this. Don't use that. Ah, move. Oh, no! Wow, that was a suicide mission. Oh, we gotta hurry and save him! He, he'll die very quickly. Gotta shoot that thing on the top! Oh, there we go. That is a friend voucher. I'm supposed to send that to people, and they send that to me, and I use that to get extra bonuses I can't normally get. Interesting. We can't do that anymore. It's almost like getting something for doing an achievement in a game. Yeah. Like, instead of just gamer score or just a trophy, you can actually use the things you get. It's dead of the Miiverse, though, so... Well, it's fine. Things die. So another thing about this game is that we have energy cells. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So because you remove that, all the locks are open. Oh dear. And now they're gonna go play football with it. Yeah, here they come. Go on! Got it! <laughs> Alright, get him. Yes. Are you gonna, are you gonna scan the, the a blue power boy. cell here? Blue boy, we gotta scan here. <laughs> He's armored. There we go. 
Armored pirate militia. Oh, he's good in armor. Look at him. Oh, cool. He'd be good in dead. Oh, oops. We're just gonna run around the room and not really do anything with the energy cell, so I'll just kill his friends and then take the energy cell when he's dead. He's going for a 500-yard touchdown in total. <laughs> what? Not, not just one straight line. <laughs> We're not on a football field! You're not gonna get anything for rushing yards, man! Oh, oh, oh! Ow, 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 ow! Oh, okay, okay, I give, I give... No, 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 no! Ah! I brought my cleats, I didn't bring my gun! <laughs> You know, that last one? compared to all the other openings of the uh, different Metroid Prime games, this is a lot more cinematic, if you want to be very generous. I'd say it's a bit more in tune to Metroid Prime Hunter's opening. Very much so, yes. Which, is, which I wouldn't call a bad thing. No, 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 not at all. It, I can definitely see where some of the influence from Halo came in. Right. Maybe catch my drift. Mm -hmm. Ooh, do we get to insert and twist? The old insert and <laughs> twist. Insert and twist. Yeah! And you probably have to do that for multiples throughout the entire game, huh? Well, it's, it's a thing you do in the game. It's... Does it count as a collectible? Yeah. Alright, a lot of insert and twist. Oh! Don't like that! Alright, these are more ing than space pirates! What is going on?! Oh, shit. <laughs> they have morphed! Uh oh. I, th I think they're getting help from the Ing. Pretty sure that uh, they found the phase on, they found Dark Samus, and they're like, hey, what's up? Let's work together. That's what's happening. They do the, the Predator. Uh, uh, oh shit. What do you even call that? Handshake? Not exactly? Yeah, just. just, just like, yeah. All right, now get out of here. All right, so we press C on the nunchuck to do the morph ball. That doesn't seem too bad. They are everywhere, Jesus. Ugh. You didn't want to push the button? Yeah, this place is screwed. That wasn't the button, that was the way back up. Oh, okay. Ugh. Ooh, looky. Already? We've got an energy tank. We're gonna do a lot of shooting stuff in this opening, so uh, it's good to be prepared. Okay. Very nice. They give me Morph Ball already, they gave me the bomb. What I like is that they don't, like, take away my powers, I just have what I already had. That, what I decided to bring with me. So I don't know why Samus never brings her screw attack or power bombs or anything. It's always just the bare minimum. It's always left on the ship. You know, forgot the keys to the vault. Alright, it's a security lock. Ooh, I like that effect. Yeah. I kind of like this water, I don't know. It's like sewage cucumber water. Hmm, does it taste like... I'm not gonna taste that, ew. I don't like cucumbers. Self-destruct sequence, active... oh. Nope, worse. I should have brought my space boots, sir! Okay, we're good. That was close. Girl, that was extremely lucky. That's that's entirely reckless of her, too. Oh my god, she kept her character traits. See, recklessness, that's what I always think Samus Aaron is. Andrade is kicking okay. ass. Yeah, I was There's hoping. My ship over the. All right. Well, and two, three, three locked doors, and that it. Well, guess I'll die. I was really hoping we'd see the other bounty hunters in action. That's fabulous. We got some more space pirates here too. They're gonna go down pretty easily. Yeah, they look weird. Like these aren't the space pirates that we fought in Prime One. Corruption. Hey. There's that theme coming in again. Oh my god, I wow. think I think it's just doused in corruption. How are we ever gonna how are we ever gonna beat these space pirates if they have so much corruption? We'll shoot them a bunch with our uncorrupting beam of power! Oh shit! Oh, oh I hate this bad that platform. I notice you have uh, or you start with the double jump. That's nice. 
Yeah, they give you they give you things you already have. Which is nice. I also see you're giving your thumb a workout here, so you're gonna have Wii wrist and also like masher thumb. So you can change uh, which button shoots A or B. Oh. So I tried B. Because that felt more like, you know, the the, the gun. That it felt you like, like a gun, but... But the thing is, it, I try to hiss B, and then the, the, the Wiimote just jerks up when I... If I, if I do A, that stays in place. Of course, I need... Now what I've been doing is I've been holding the Wiimote and the Nunchuck side by side. I hold it together, yeah. Like yeah. it was an actual fucking controller. Here's a missile launcher! There are 51 missile launcher pickups. This one is the first. So, 50 more. And let's see a count. How many missiles do you get every single pack? Five. Holy shit. 105 missiles total? Mm-hmm. Woo! Wait. Wait. <laughs> That's not how math works. 255 missiles! I'm just saying yep because I don't want to do the math. 255 missiles. Yep, that's right. <laughs> 95 missiles. Yep, yep you got it. Yeah, that's what we got. Three missiles. Sure. That's Sh right. Yep, you got yep. it, buddy. We got five in a pack, but we already shot one, so it, it's just gone forever. Did I actually see that correctly? Down on the D-pad shoots the missile? Yes. That's brilliant. It's right there, you know. Yeah, you don't have to a hold a separate button to open up the missile launcher even and then it, fire. Even if it's on B, it's just you can use your thumb. It's very yeah. natural. Gotta scan these guys, too. Nice, Space Invaders. This is where we get the shooting gallery uh, motion control aspect. They will drop their shield. You have to shoot them when they drop their shield, or they will shoot at you. Looks like they're still shooting, and you're taking quick pot shots. That's not very nice. Yeah, there go. That guy up there was taking pot shots at me. What's up, man? That was too close. Thanks, Samus. The hangar is just through those doors. I'm sure the troops on the ground could use all the help they can get. Oh, I'm sure. There's also a recharge station over there in case you need it. Oh, really? Now, is it going to do the same thing as all the other primes? Full recharge? Not like we need it. Oh, you scalawag. <laughs> Let me shoot the door open. <laughs> Now that door will never open! Oh, wait, we can't let you go away without it. first having some, uh, company. Oh. Hey, man, are you okay? Didn't save that guy. Oh, hello. Oh. All right. Now I'm definitely sure that the Ing and the Space Pirates are working together. They're using phase on. Oh, 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 wow, that's a lot of phase on that they pumped into you, old boy. Oh, this is the Berserker Lord. He certainly looks like it. And he's about to explode. Like moments before disaster. This is a nice picture. Oh, hey, big old glowy weak points. Yeah, he's got big old glowy weak points. Uh, seems to be a thing that the Phazon likes to do. Just kind of burst out of your shoulders at, at you know, in, like, boils. Well, you know, they gotta make it fair, I guess. He does that, and he gets angry, and then he just shoots these beams at you. You can shoot them back, and that's how you hurt him. Oh. Or rather, that's how you're trying to break that shell on top of his head. And then you can take full advantage of damage. Gotcha. Let me get these boils back. Hang on. Ow. Hey, can you stop shooting my boils? I'm very self-conscious about them. Now yeah, let's go ahead and pop them for you. No, no, wait. I, I, I think... Ow! Ow. Alright, now shoot more stuff at me so I can take you down. Oh, okay. I think I could do that. Or you oh. could do the ones that I don't shoot down. There we go. That is... Whoops! Very responsive. Wait, what'd you do? I shot him too quickly. So we didn't get oh, it. we didn't get the second one out. Four of his beams will uh, destroy that shell of his, but I hit him too quickly and he got interrupted. And so we decided to go back to this phase. Yeah, it's all right. One more won't hurt. Not like I'm hurting for it anyway. Come on. There you go. Though it is doomsday for you, friend. That missile dealt so much damage. I know. That's good. That's nice. Yeah, you can throw up on the wall all you want. Yeah, 
thankfully, just like the ing, goes down pretty quickly. All right, you done? You, t you, you done? You finished? I slipped on a puddle. You wanna go, you wanna go get a bandit? Oh, oh. Huh, I didn't know you could do that. Huh. See ya! And he drifts off into space endlessly forever. Oh, oh! Huh. Cool. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh. Okay. Come on back, ship. Yeah, hopefully some of those rando ships don't hit ours. Now this ship kind of autopilots itself. I don't think that'd be an issue. All right. We gotta get to planet Norion now and help the Galactic Federation against the space pirate invasion. And also take the vaccine and help their bionic supercomputers to actually fight them off. So this is another way it's a lot like Metroid Prime Hunters. We have to actually get inside our ship. For our ship is actually a movable save room. I like it. We'll get to that later, but... Right now, we're just gonna go ahead and... Tap on this, bring up places that we can go. There's only one place right now. Planet Norion. Specifically right there on Norion. It's the whole place. The Docking Hub Alpha. Hope you guys solve this issue without me. Okay, bye. Next time on Metroid Prime 3, to Planet Norion! Oh, yeah.